welcome back to my channel. I would firstly like to apologize for why I have not been posting recently. The reason I haven't been posting recently is because, as you might have seen in my community post, Evergreen Aquine has been going through some changes, and these changes are incredibly important for the future of my videos, especially my realistic role plays. So let me explain to you guys what's going on. So if you haven't seen kind of the intro or if you just skip to the part where I'm talking, in this week's video, I will be giving you a tour slash kind of a vlog of the upgraded stable here at Evergreen Equine. So basically the stable got completely renovated. If you haven't noticed in my other realistic role plays or if you're new here i have had multiple different barns it was not a great fit for me and my horses we decided to move to evergreen equine in its kind of starting era and we have stuck with them this entire time and now from the funding from you guys we've actually been able to upgrade the barn and make it a lot more suitable for horses before it was a nice barn but it wasn't necessarily new but if I'm being honest, I really don't want to get into all of that, so let me just explain some other stuff. Now, let me tell you guys what we're doing in this video. So, in this video, there will be no horses or riding or anything, and that is because the barn is still going through a little bit of changes, so it's not completely suitable for horses yet. But anyways, let's get on with the vlog. By the way, it's only me today, since it's very confidential stuff, which is why even So here it is. This is the new Evergreen Equine Barn. And isn't it just beautiful? I mean, like, look at all of this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm sorry if the recording today is a little bit shaky and that's because I'm literally using my phone. I absolutely love it. And then the pasture is just over there. Okay, let me get closer. It has really nice stuff. There's some hay there and some water. Um, but yeah, it is super nice and everything like that. Very nice, very pretty. And then I am obsessed with the area that Evergreen Aquine is in. I mean, just look at this beautiful place. It is surrounded by these luscious evergreen trees and some nice other kind of trees. Anyways, let's head inside of the barn so you guys can see all of that. All right. We are in. Evergreen Equine is kind of known for its hospitality to horses. Uh, it has a nice program for rescue horses, which is where you guys kind of met Joey. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out after this one. Joey was a rescue that Evergreen Equine has found and they kind of adopted him to keep him safe because he was not in the best situation. But here is kind of the barn. The stalls are very beautiful. Let me see if I can get a closer up or higher look all right here are the stalls i am like reaching up so high right now but yeah this is again just simulated stuff just to see how it reacts to the new paints and everything we just installed some really nice flooring and ceiling and we painted the walls and everything i'm not really sure how long these white walls will last i will bet that they will get dirty very quickly but it is very modern and nice and we have these beautiful chandeliers which are absolutely gorgeous like wow they really worked hard on this place we have a very nice seating area and storage area also this is kind of the tack area Here are the really nice stalls. Again, they are absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you guys one more look. All right, as you can see here, here's another look. Um, right, uh, oh my gosh, I can't really see because I'm so short. Um, right in front of you, um, there is like a little opening. Let me see if I can get into the stall and then show you guys. All right, we are in the stall. Oh my gosh, it got so dark. Okay. We have these little like pens right here. They're like, kind of a little bit like turnouts, but they're not really... Uh, these are just kind of if we want to keep the horses away from the actual pasture with the other horses, but still have them have outside time. So usually these will be closed, but, but if we want to let them out, then they are free to roam around over here. All right, that is kind of it of the barn, but let me just show you guys one more time. So gorgeous. I love these mats too. They're just absolutely amazing and they're like super grippy. Again, I am so sorry for not uploading recently. This project has been huge for me and the Evergreen Equine team. Look at this beautiful like land. Like it's so nice for like trail rides and stuff. 
um, it's just absolutely gorgeous. We have worked on so much, like, planting around here and stuff. It is absolutely beautiful. And look at the sun over here. Like, wow. Absolutely stunning. And then this barn is just... Ah, I love it. All right. Well, that is pretty much it. All right. I have found myself in the storage room yet again. But I want to tell you guys about the horses. So, again, right now we are not housing any horses here. Just kind of temporarily while we are finishing up these stages of this construction and stuff, I guess. And that is the reason why none of the horses are here. I will let you guys know in case you are worried where my horses are. We're like Butter, Joey, and some other horses that we might be introducing soon. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that they are currently being housed at a different barn. Let me tell you guys where they are. So right now they are being housed at a beautiful place really far from here called Oak Meadows and that place is absolutely gorgeous. It is near, I don't know if you guys know, but there's a beautiful town called Silverglade a little bit farther from where Evergreen Equine is situated at. So if you guys know, then let me know in the comments below. It's a wonderful place where they're situated at, and the reason I'm not boarding there right now is because it is a little bit far. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know where they were in case you were worried or anything like that. Um, but yeah, if you guys also want a video about that barn, I can totally try and um schedule something like that I'm not sure if they're open to filming or like recording or videos or anything like that um but i can totally check it out it would be a little bit harder and it would take a lot longer because it is really far away i did get a request for a video about that place thank you to that person by the way i love video requests so please give me video requests in the comments i can totally attempt to do something like that I'm not sure how to set it all up because I don't know if my cameraman can even get to that place. Like, I don't know if it's possible. I can totally try. But yeah, that is pretty much all for this video. I don't really have any other news. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave me video requests or if you want to see something to me, uh, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will give you guys any updates in the community tab about this situation or about Oak Meadows and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!